Hey y'all. Well, the final decision was kinky twist. I was like, uh, let me get some kinky twists. My mom blessed me. She decided to treat me to get my hair done. So, yeah, I was gonna get it done anyway, but you know, that's see, that's how good God is. Like, in my thoughts, I'm like, okay, I need to, you know, take these scarves off and I need to get my hair done. And then I'm saying to myself, mm, maybe I could wait till next week. You know, I'll definitely have it in the budget next week. Maybe I'll just wait and, you know, I tend to sometimes prolong things um, because I always constantly get my kids stuff, you know. You know how it is being a mom. It's like, uh, you want to get this for yourself, but then you're like, ah, oh, maybe my kid needs this, maybe my kid needs that. You know, and it doesn't get done, but that's the goodness of God because he knows your thoughts. And it's like, I can think a thing that I want or need and just like that, he makes it happen. And I want to talk to y'all about my spirit, my experience with tithing. Um, I know some people don't tithe. They in the church, they in Christ, and they just don't tithe. Like, they believe every part of the Bible except when it comes to, you know, giving up that 10% in their offering. Well, my experience with it is that at first, when I first started tithing, which was years ago, but when I first started, you know what I mean? I just didn't see anything. I was like, why am I giving this? Like, nothing's changing. Like, nothing, like, what am I giving? First off, I had to change my mind frame because first, the 10% is, is old to him. It's old to him. You know what I mean? I have to stop looking at it like he needs to give me something. He gave me everything when he sacrificed his only begotten son. But I'm telling you, ever since I started tithing and my money gets low, it always gets back to where it's supposed to be. God always finds a way to bless me and to take care of the things that I need and want. And the reason why it was so captivating to me, sorry, my phone is dying. The reason why it was so captivating to me is because that's the only part of the Bible that he asks you to test him. And it's Malachi 3.10, right? Where he asks you to test him. And you know what I mean? To um, give him the tithe. And he's going to give you more than you ever expected. You know what I mean? Like, it's just... I'll have the exact scripture in the comments. But you guys know what scripture I'm talking about. Malachi 3.10. But it's the only part of the Bible that he asked you to test him. I was like, what? I got to do this. Let me test it out. I'm testing this out. And his word is always true. He can never fail. He can't tell no lie. I'm telling you, the tithe and offering works. Give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it, give it. Every time you need something, it's going to be there. It's going to be there. It's going to be there. And also, I believe, like, it's like dimensions in, like, heaven. I believe that, like... Okay, let's say, like, somebody saved, right? Of course, okay, they saved. They made it in, right? They made it into heaven. They're not going to hell. But they hold life. They never gave tithe or offering. I believe that it's just, it's levels. It's levels. And in the scripture where he talks about that there's, there's, um, there's mansions in my father's house, like, God is rich. And, you know, like, we just got the wrong idea about tithing and offering. He don't need the money. I'm going to say it again. And I had to get this understanding, too, y'all. I had to get it, too, because I ain't know. He don't need the money. He don't need it. He's rich. He's rich. Beyond rich. He doesn't need the money. It's the trust that he wants. He wants us to see that we can trust him. He wants 
to see that we do trust him. He wants to see that we trust him with our finances. He wants to see that we trust him in every, in every area. Picking a, um, a mate for us. Picking a home for us. Telling us, you know, apply for this job. You're going to elevate here. Picking a um, job for us. You know what I mean? Like picking a vehicle for us. Like God wants us to trust him in every area of our life. And we have to do it. We have to do it. We have to do it. For me, it's a must. It's a must. I have to. I don't make any decisions without praying. I don't. Because I can easily be, you know, led into the wrong direction. I can't. I, I don't. Mm -mm. I won't take the risk. I pray. I pray for everything. I pray for the, the right schools to send my kids to. Everything. Uh, the right homes. To right now, I'm looking for a new place to live. And I am just told God, you pick it out for me. Pick it out for me. You know the neighbors. You know um, if I'm going to like it. You know you know everything. You created me, so I trust you. You know everything about me. I can never know myself more than God knows me. That's my daddy. And I trust him. And you guys should trust him too. If you haven't started tithing and offering, it's never too late. And watch and see how God's going to pour out a blessing and how you never, ever, ever going to want for anything because he's always going to come through. Anyways, I love you guys. Have a blessed Friday. Have a blessed weekend. And if he gives me any type of word, I will be back on to let you guys know. And to tell y'all if he shares anything with me that he wants you guys to know. But you know I got something for y'all every week. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your mammy and pappy about the channel. Hit the like. And just enjoy your days, guys. I love you. And remember, Jesus loves you more. Bye.